What's going on YouTube, Electric Gaming here, and in today's video what I'm going to be showing you is how you can create your very own overlay for your own YouTube channel and your own videos. I did make a tutorial about like this exactly a few months ago, but however that tutorial did not require any software and it was for completely free, however the trade off that you do get is lower quality, but if you guys don't have money to spend on Photoshop then you can actually go and check that video by clicking on the screen now or going into the link in the description and checking out where the video is. However, if you do want to see how you can get your own Photoshop for free, I would smash 30 to 25 likes on this video and I'll make sure I'll bring that out for you guys so you can create your very own professional stuff on Photoshop for free. So without further ado guys, what we want to do is open up Photoshop, click File, New, and then you can copy these settings down. I'm going to go 1280 by 720 and basically that's just the settings for HD, make sure these are set to pixel, that's RBG colour and this is transparent and that will make sure your settings are all good and you are ready to start by clicking OK and this will open up a rectangular tool here. So what you want to do is select the rectangle tool and you can, you can pick your favourite colour or whatever you want this overlay to be and you can pick the primary colour here, so I'm just going to go for a grey because I'll change it later and that doesn't really matter. So what you want to do is select it on the top of the screen and just drag it so it's not too chunky but then again it covers a proportional part of the pit, you know, the screen because bearing in mind this is only going to cover a certain amount of your screen and you don't want it to be too thick covering the whole thing so just make sure that is a rectangle tool. Now what you can do is go to blending options and you can actually click on to gradient overlay and pick your favourite colour. So I'm actually going to go with a, just for, so you can actually see easily, I'm going to go with a blue and then I'm going to go with a light blue so it kind of looks pretty nice it's you know and I'm going to change the angle of this just so it looks a bit more I don't know it just looks a bit better so now what you want to do is go to this tool here and click on polygon lasso tool and you want to rasterize this layer so the reason why we are doing this at the moment as I'm going to show you in a minute is so it just cuts out a few corners later so you don't have to it's not as hard basically so what you want to do is select this top corner after you've rasterized the layer that's very important drag down to this corner and then make like a triangle off the screen and then what you can do is click delete and it actually makes a corner so you can actually pick this to how you like it you can obviously temper tamp around with it and do it how you like it but just for the sake of making it symmetrical you can go to each corner and do it and click delete and now you have say, two corners and that's actually pretty nice this basically just means you don't, you don't have to mess around later but I'm sure if you wanted to you could so now what you want to go is duplicate this layer and then what you want to do is click blending options and you can make this a solid colour like red or sorry black which is what I'm going to have it and you can drag this layer underneath the other one then click the select tool and drag the layer down a little bit so what we want is this a bit is this symmetrical with the other so how to make this more low profile is zooming in clicking control T and just dragging this so it's not as chunky and it kind of suits the other one nicely so that now it's looking a lot better and it's just looking a bit more professional you can drag the edges in you can do what you want basically you can trim these down again but yeah once you have it sorted out that is how you're going to want it and that's that's done now so now you've got your corners complete so now you want to click like click the text tool and write your name out of your youtube channel so i'm going to pick electrics obviously that's my youtube channel and just click this tick here so you can go on to uh, I think I, I'll leave a link in the description to where I got the fonts just browse through all the fonts and you can pick the one you want but this is the one I've got it's called America Captain so if you do want to it's I think it's called Defont actually I'm not gonna leave a link it's called Defont.com and you this is called America Captain so if you do want this font you can always pick that so we're just gonna leave the color for now we're gonna change it later because obviously I don't want it green so you what you're gonna do is click control T hold shift and pick the top corner and drag it down what holding shift does is actually make it so no matter how much you move it it doesn't go funny for example if I didn't do it without shift it do that and you don't want that because it looks very weird and looks very stupid so hold shift drag it down and make sure it fits inside this overlay so drag this layer above the other one obviously so it fits and just pick the position of this so once you've got this position to where you like it, you can actually right click blending options and click gradient overlay. So I'm going to have the primary colour as a white and then I'm going to have the second colour as just a lighter grey. And it kind of adds a nice gradient effect but it's not too harsh on like a blue on blue. It's, it kind of complements itself so also want to add a drop shadow. I just don't want to make this too big to wreck it. So I'm just going to have these maybe 11 and 11 or maybe 22 and 11 
and just drag the distance down to zero and the opacity up. So now that looks very nice actually, and I'm going to add an inner glow, and I'm just going to put normal opacity 100, make sure that's white, and then just add maybe a little bit, so it actually looks very nice there. So now we are pretty much done with the logo and the actual overlay itself, you can click place, and actually pick what logos you like, so if you'd like to add a Twitter logo, you can pick a Twitter logo if you want, so I'm just going to put a Twitter logo there, and also add other logos if you want. And obviously a YouTube logo, just remember, click shift, drag it down, or control T if you want to just select it, and then just make sure they are wherever you want, and just select them, and put them around, and you, you can obviously put your Twitter there if you want, just use the same principle as you did for the text, and that is pretty much how to make your very own overlay in Photoshop. So you can add all the text by a side of it, saying maybe subscribe, or Twitter, so thank you very much for watching today's video guys, if you did enjoy this video, remember to smack 20 or 35 likes, or sorry, 25 likes or 30 likes, and I'll bring out how to use Photoshop and how to actually get it for free, so legally as well, so thank you very much for watching today's video guys, if you did enjoy, remember to smack that like button, like, subscribe, and peace guys.